Michelle McKinnon, David Bonson, Susan Lee, all here to straighten everything out for us. Well, I've called it a Goldilocks market. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but can you point to a factor which might push us even higher? There is absolutely one factor that might push us higher, and that is earnings surprises, exactly okay. as Michelle has said. And I think if you look back to April, the earnings expectations in the first quarter were so low, and then the companies outperformed. But the key is they can't only outperform on bottom line. They have to outperform top line, too. You've got to see revenue growth, because that shows you that it's organic. It's not just margins expanding and cost cutting, that there's real sustainable growth going on. I think you're going to get it. Okay, so earnings surprises, we're watching for that. That could push us higher. Okay, now let's talk interest rates. Just for a start, the 10-year Treasury this morning yields 2.07%. I believe, David, uh, this is your area, the market is pricing in or anticipating three rate cuts this year. Will we get them? Sort of. The market is 100% pricing in one cut in yep. July. About 60% or so think there could be two in July. I believe they're wrong. I hope they're wrong. But the market <laughs> is over 60% saying you'll get that second cut by September. The camp that is getting three, calling for three cuts by December is about 30 to 40%. That can't be called an insurance cut by any reasonable definition. True. If they start going three or four cuts, that's the Fed telling you we're going into recession. I don't think it's going to happen. I hope it doesn't. Remember, if the market likes that, they have to wean off of that at some point. Yeah, that's what hard. we want to be dependent on is sustained earnings growth, not Fed help along okay. the way. Right. The Switching. story here is surely it's uh, prime days next week, yeah. two days, and the stock's back over $2,000 a share. I mean, what more is there to this story? Yeah. Hey, they're spending $700 million on retraining, and they didn't have to ask for a government subsidy to do it. So go figure. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't pay a dividend, do they? No, they don't. And you wouldn't touch it. them with a 10-foot pole. I would not. <laughs> but I'm, sorry, I'm a big Cynical. customer. Big customer. I'd take we that capital gain, believe me. Yeah. I would, definitely. I'm sure you would. All right, we're now, oh, look at this. We're up 113 points as we speak. This is a rally. McDonald's is at $212 a share. Wow. What a stock performance that's been. They're asking franchisees, uh, no, the franchisees are asking the company to give them a sandwich that competes with Chick-fil-A. I don't know whether this, where this is going. Okay. I think it's important. I mean, Chick-fil-A is just a phenomenal institution. Yes. You go in there, you have great customer service. It's super efficient. Their chick sandwich, chicken sandwich is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I will go to Chick-fil-A 100% over McDonald's. Okay, so the numbers say it. I mean, Chick-fil-A is a very successful franchise, third largest in the yeah, nation. Yes. And by the way, they're closed on Sunday as well. So Which can sucks. you imagine the foot traffic that goes through six out of seven days? I Meantime, look at the restaurant size. Chick-fil-A only had 1,900. Compare that to McDonald's at 14,000 restaurants across the U.S. So which one is highly profitable, higher margins? Chick-fil-A, chicken sandwiches. With a stock chart like that, that's to die for. Look at that. Um, but that's a dividend story, isn't it? Apparently that stock chart, you could be looking at the stock price or the dividend growth, and you wouldn't know the difference. The really? stock price has, gr has grown in direct concert with the dividend and for buybacks. 30 years. And, and, you, but, you, but, but with McDonald's, they were even heavier on dividend growth out of the financial crisis. They've now, with new CEO, been uh, cu coupling it with stock buybacks, too. Now the dividend's up 400% in the last 10 years. You didn't Correct. tell me about that. You didn't I asked you for dividend-paying stock. We've talked about it on me. the show, and the good news is it's on tape, Stuart. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you'll be back. Okay. Uh, David and Michelle, thank you very much. Good stuff. McDonald's, by the way, all time high. Correct. I believe that's accurate. Okay.